Hi friends, I'm Monique and I'm back today with a new layout for Pear Tree Cut Files. I'm going to be using two lovely cut files which were part of the Advent series um, to create this layout. The first cut file that I used is this lovely Christmas tree, it's called Oh Christmas Tree, and the second was that smaller title piece which is called The Big Night. Now the Christmas tree was part of the Scrapbookers Advent and The Big Night was part of the December album Advent and is a slightly smaller size to accommodate December albums. I've cut them both in one white cardstock and I've also cut the Christmas tree as just a solid white shape with white cardstock. I'm first of all going to be using that as a mask so that I can add some gold ink um, just around that shape. I want to give this lovely glow around the Christmas tree like it's lighting up the room. I'm working directly onto the background pattern paper that I've chosen which is a lovely sheet of pattern paper from Bella Boulevard from their Bella Besties um, range and I've also got this gold ink from scrapbook.com it's called metallic gold and it gives such a lovely shine and shimmer and I'm just using that Christmas tree shape just to ink it on and um, give that lovely glow for the outline now I'm not going to waste that template I'm going to be using that to back my cut file as well so I've got these five um Distress Oxide inks and I'm going to be using all five of those to create a rainbow with my ink blender. So I've got Squeezed Lemonade, Cracked Pistachio, uh, Mermaid Lagoon, Prize Ribbon and Picked Raspberry. That's quite a tongue twister getting all of those out. And you can see I'm just using um, my domed blender. It's also from scrapbook.com and I can just interchange the different dome toppers to work between all the colors. So I start with the Squeezed Lemonade, the yellow first, because um, that color is more likely to get dirty. Um, so I want to get the yellow over and done with. I don't want to um, accidentally mix any colors with that and make my ink pad dirty. Um, so I like to start with, with a lighter color first and then I just work my way through each of those colors. Now you can see that I don't have all the colors of the rainbow, but these um, five colors that I have chosen are going to work beautifully together to create an entire rainbow. You only really need to use three colors um, to get the rainbow. And um, if you pop along to my Instagram, you'll be able to see a, a short reel that I made where I used three Distress Oxides to create a rainbow effect on a much smaller Christmas tree. And that was just Squeezed Lemonade, Mermaid Lagoon and Picked Raspberry. And I got all seven colors of the rainbow um, from, from those three ink pads. But because this is a much bigger surface that I'm working with and a much larger Christmas tree, I've included a few extra colors. I don't have the biggest stash of Distress Oxides. I've only got these five and I think maybe three, three others. And um, I'm still building my collection. Um, I've got quite a lot of Distress ink pads, um, but I'm quite new to Distress Oxides and I absolutely love them. At first, when I started collecting the Distress Inks, I thought, okay, I won't be getting the Distress Oxides. I've chosen Distress Inks and I'll build that collection. Um, but sure enough, <laughs> I've decided to collect the Distress Oxides as well. So I'm just going back and forth between the different colors just to ensure I get a good blend. So I work with one color at a time and then go on to the next color and then go back and forth between the two colors um, just to get them to blend nicely together. So here you can see I'm using the picked raspberry and then I'm gonna go back to the prized ribbon and just try blend that down a little bit into the pink and then I go back to the pink blending it up just until I've got a nice smooth transition between those colors. And the picked raspberry on top of the prized ribbon creates a lovely purple strip. So I don't have a purple Distress Oxide ink pad yet. So these two colors together work beautifully to create that color. Now I don't have any orange yet, so I'm coming in here with my yellow. And I know at the beginning there I said I do the yellow first so that I don't mix um, any other colors onto the yellow. So I've been careful to get a new clean um, dome just to dab into my yellow. And I actually use a few <laughs> because I really don't want to mess up my yellow ink pad. Um, but I have washed these dome blenders before, so I'm not too worried that uh, I've used quite a few. So um, I'm loving how this is looking with just all those rainbow colors and um, it just makes my heart happy seeing that rainbow sequence 
quite a long process in this um, as part of this video, just showing you um, all those colors and how I got them onto that Christmas tree. But I really wanted to keep it all in so that you could see um, exactly how I did it rather than cutting it short, just in case you wanted to see every little detail. I've been really quiet here on YouTube and I'm so sorry I've been away for so long with no new content for you. Um, but I'm hoping to be back um, relatively regularly now. Hopefully each week I'll have a new video up for you. Um, I got a little bit slow over Christmas and then I came back with a video and then kind of struggled to get back into it again. So I've got quite a few videos that I have in the process of editing. I've just not quite finished them with adding the voiceovers. So hopefully those will be coming to you very soon as well. Now I've got another ink pad here from scrapbook.com and it's called Metallic Frost and I'm using it with this beautiful stencil with these delicate little stars. This stencil is um, a Petri cut file one and it's called Starfetti and it's got lovely little clusters of various sized stars. And I'm just using the ink to add some very subtle stars to, to that Christmas tree. And they just add a little hint of a shimmer. And um, it's almost like an embossing, but it's not embossed. Um, it's just the cheats version. <laughs> so um, now I'm also going over again um, on top of my sten on top of my rainbow tree with that same stencil. I'm going over with the same inks, just doing some tone on tone stenciling to be honest you can't really see it so I had envisaged that these stars would pop off slightly um, and be a little bit darker but you they were kind of ineffective really so I would leave that step out if you wanted to recreate this um, but then I go on to my Nouveau glimmer paste in the color moonstone I love this glimmer paste it is just so shimmery and I go over my Christmas tree with that just to add some very sparkly glittery stars and I do try to place that stencil in a different spot to where the metallic frost um, stars were just so that you get that um, shimmery subtle um, star from the ink pad as well as the really sparkly glittery ones from the glimmer paste and now I'm just going to be gluing that the white outlined cut file directly on top of that so I've not raised it up at all it's just gone directly on and there it is sitting on top of that golden glow in the background and I'm really happy with how that looks however I did want to add just a little bit more sparkle so I've come in with some um, gold mist which I'm just splattering around the background just to add a little bit of extra light and sparkle. Now, as soon as I saw this Christmas tree cut file, I knew that it was going to be a rainbow one. Um, and you know how much I love a rainbow and a rainbow sequence. So um, this was the perfect opportunity to include a bit more rainbow. Now I've got these, um, they like enamel dots, but they glittery. I got them at the range um, here in the UK um, a while back and they've got various different sizes and it just worked perfectly. The, the large size was the exact right size to fit into each of those baubles. Now, I've got a little bit of um, glitter craft foam from my kids' craft stash, um, just a little piece, and it was perfect for using um, for the word big from the big night um, cut file. And I've just cut out each letter, and I'm just going to be sticking those inside the recess of um, the word big. I've also added a little bit of gold stitching there, which is just going to go nicely underneath the parcels at the bottom of the Christmas tree. I felt like it was a little bit unfinished underneath the Christmas tree and it just needed something to ground it at the bottom of the page. So now I kind of laid everything there just to see what it looked like and I felt I needed something just a little bit more. So I'm going in with that same stencil and the metallic gold ink pad just to ink a few little subtle stars um, around the Christmas tree and where my photo is going to go. So I've got this cute photo showing Santa who had just visited a house last year and um, some Santa's Christmas presents. My kids were very excited to see that photo in the morning. And um, so I just wanted to document this, this page with that picture. So I love this stencil and it's just so effective, I think, on this page um, and can be used in various different ways, obviously with the glitter tex texture paste and the ink as well. And I've raised that Christmas tree up with some um, craft foam just to lift it up a little bit so it stands away from the, the glowing background. 
and I backed my photo with a couple sheets of the 6 by 6 paper from the Holiday Magic Collection from Pinkfresh Studio, which I absolutely love. I really, really love all the pops of yellow in that Christmas co collection. Um, so I've just backed that and then also put a little bit of tissue paper behind the photo just to add an extra layer. And I do love adding tissue paper behind a photo. I just feel it gives such a nice um, subtle edging and just allows a little bit of that color from the yellow photo mat just to peek through and just to give a nice bit of subtle interest. So I'm going to distress those edges and in a moment I'm going to choose another piece of patterned paper from the 6x6 Holiday Magic um, paper pad. Um, I just feel once I've popped that down there, I feel like I need a little bit of some pattern on the right there. So I'm going to cut this photo mat slightly bigger than the yellow one. And again, also distressing the edges. And when I put them all together, I'm going to layer them slightly offset. I don't want a perfect um, pile of papers and photo. I want them to be kind of a little bit um, off center. I quite like that effect. And then I'm going to be raising them up as well. They're going to be raised up the same height as um, the Christmas tree. So I've just added some craft foam to the top kind of right hand side of the photo where it's going to sit directly onto the background and then the rest is adhered directly onto the Christmas tree. Now the big night cut file I've backed the word big just in white cardstock so that I can stick my glitter craft foam directly onto that um, because I'm going to be raising that up um, so that it's higher than the Christmas tree. So I add um, some craft foam behind it, a, a double layer where it's sticking onto the, the background and a single layer where it's sticking on the Christmas tree and the photo, um, just so that it's a bit more three-dimensional. And I've got some lovely um, gold um, vinyl stars from Petri Cut Files and they were perfect for sticking into the little the star shapes of that cut file and they add an extra bit of gold shimmer which ties in really nicely with the, the golden glow behind the Christmas tree. So here you can see I'm going painstakingly over the whole cut file adding all those little strips and I finally got it it's all right and now I'm just going to find the right place so that I can stick it down and I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I wanted the star from the top of the title cut file um, to be slightly higher than the Christmas tree star. I didn't want them to be lined up um, perfectly. So I wanted there to be some differentiation between those. Now I'm going through a few of my different embellishments. I've got a few different stickers and tabs and I'm just trying to find the right combination to add here um, just so that I can get like a nice little cluster going there at the top of um, the photo. And I've got a lovely little um, pointy bit that says, little tab that says magic, which I think is perfect for a photo of Santa. And then a little tab that says, hey Santa, which works really nicely. And I found this little sticker which I got in one of the Lollipop Box Club um, kits. I think it might, yes, it was actually the special edition Christmas box that I got from them which says Christmas Eve. So that sticker works really nicely. And then I've stamped 2020 into that circle sticker. And I feel that that cluster all works quite nicely. I'm not adding anything too hectic. I did want to include that sticker that says believe, but I just couldn't find a place to make it work. So I decided to leave it off. So there was just a little closer look at those gorgeous gold stars and I'm just adding a few around the title as well um, just to continue that shimmer. Now that I've stuck everything down, I'm just having a little look to see where there might be some gaps and I want to add a few more golden stars. So I add a few more to the top. But for some reason, I don't add any down the right hand side of that photo. I think if I were to have gone back, I would have maybe added a few gold stars to the right hand side of that photo, but I've not done, I've just left it. Um, I'm quite happy with how it looks, but if I were to do it again, I'd add some stars there. And um, just a few more gold splatters. I did one gold splatter that was irritating me. It was a bit of a, 
odd shape. I'd kind of dabbed it and made it a bit too big, so I added a gold star on top of it. But here are, is a close-up look of my layout, and it's all complete with all that shimmer and rainbow goodness in that Christmas tree. Now we are well into 2022, right at the end of January, but you can still get these cut files. They are still available as part of the advent um, over at Pear Tree Cut Files. The scrapbook is advent for the Christmas tree, which is day number 24, and then the big night was day number 24 of the December album um, Advent. As always, I'll link everything up for you below. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. I hope something sparked a new idea for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.